right, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric. If you've enjoyed the content, please continue to subscribe to keep the channel grown to the goal of 250 by the start of June. Really appreciate your love and support this far. This is going to be on the Growlers versus Trois Rivieres, the Bashers in the league series. The Trois Rivieres Lions did score a good output in game one, but did not defend well at all, as it was 7 to 4 in game one. Neither team really defended well in this game to be quite honest, and Tyler Boland got his bat out of hell series started, which is cool for the native of his homeland playing for his homeland team, playing amazingly in the postseason. Gordy Green, uh, one of my favorite players in the league, of course I'm a Royals fan, so I, you know I'm not biased saying that, and I'm a guy that even has been on the broadcast with Eric Jesberg, it's been an honor to do that, and a privilege. But, uh, Santonzo, Zach O'Brien, um, who oddly got a penalty in the in the last game of this series. Uh, I don't know how that happened. He never gets penalties. Santonzo did great in the game. Hellickson did great in the game. Two goals for Hellickson. Two goals for Santonzo. Boland was great. Gordy Green, all the core of the Newfoundland Growlers, were just uh, masterful in this game, as obviously this was not a game for the goaltendering or the game for the defenses, but... It was a game for the people that love the exciting offense. Is that what happened in Game 1? And the Growlers took it 7-4. to four. In Game 2, the Growlers d up the trois Riviere lines as St. Amant and Nellis were the only scorers. As Isaac Johnson, um, Ryan <coughs> uh, Sinzolski, I suck at pronouncing his name. I suck with some names, I'm sorry. Uh, John Stone, Santonzo, and Boland uh, were able to score as well as Gordy Green. So Gordy Green and obviously Boland and others are doing absolutely mercyful in this playoff series as well, as is Petruzelli, who had a great season in cage in general, consider or considering continuing that into the postseason. And then DeRozier's uh, also played good as well, just not great. Um, he got kind of hung out to dry by the trois Riviere Lions. They play a very jammer, old-school, 80s-style hockey. And obviously, if you're able to outskill them and get around them, and they're not able to hit you off the puck, they're kind of boned, and that's what happened in that game. 3-2, uh, though, they did bounce back. The trois Riviere Lions were all of a sudden able to D-up the Newfoundland Growlers in Game 3 and um, win by the score of 3-2 to two because Nealis won by the score of 3-2 to two and scored a hat-trick and took it upon himself being one of the skill guys on Trois Rivier Lions with a lot of those pounders that you thought would be a good playoff series matchup, and that's what it turned out to be, is that it prevailed to be a great series. And then uh, that's because they kind of built a playoff-style roster, but an 80s playoff-style, fight night-style roster, uh, which was interesting to see, to say the least. Bolin and O'Brien scored in that game for Newfoundland. Newfoundland bounced back, though, and got their offense spunk back. As they won five to two, uh, where Skirving, Kloof, Johnstone, Hoffmeyer, and um, and Szczelski, uh, were able to score, and then they were able to not prevail in the next game, the Growlers, as that could have ended the series, but they were not able to prevail, as then Trois Rivieres won three to two in a game that could have literally ended it for Newfoundland. And not made it so tight and so heart-wrenching for the Newfoundland Growlers fans. Where they won game one, won game two, lost game three, won game four. Could have won in game five in that tight game. But lost three to two thanks to the winning goal for the trois Rivieres Ryans by Alexis Doust. As Doust was able to score two in that game as he was the player of the game in that game. And then they had a chance to end it again. So they had a chance to end it twice. But then no... All of a sudden, Trois Rivieres' offense breaks out, uh, breaks out as Montemi, Brooke, Locke, Nealis, Galapeo, the whole nine yards goes ballistic for the Riviere Lions. And they are going nuts in Trois Rivieres after that game as they're in Game 7, one of the many in the first round, another tonight in the Oilers series. It's been bonkers, ballistic this first round, how great it was, other than the Rapid City Series where they really took care of business, and obviously Jacksonville who really took care of business. But otherwise, fantabulous series in this first round. The Growlers in the final game take it 5-2. to two. 
This game looked like it was going to be tight, but then in the end, the Newfoundland Growlers were really able to pull away, <clears throat> and they got that great power play goal by Shaw, um, but then you had the Growlers, Finkelstein was able to score, and then the empty net goal to put it away for Sintanzo. But Hayden Shaw, at least he was able to, at that point, uh, put them back in the game, but not enough, uh, and it's... And it was a great series. You got to give hats off and claps up. And I'll talk about that in my season recap for the Trois Rivières Lions. But you got to give the claps up for them because what a fantastic season in their first season. They played a piss you off style of hockey uh, because of the way they brought Fight Night back to the table. But I thought they were a fantabulous, uh, interesting team to watch, to say the least, because they brought Fight Night and hockey back to the table. And I am new school in the terms of, obviously, I like watching freaking skill and guys going around people and dancing and doing the spins and the dudes you do. But I also love watching great round and pounding punch. And that's what this series provided. So I'll take it. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the EGG Twitter to keep the series growing to 250 or more by the beginning of June to meet our goal. Really appreciate you guys love and support this far. The Newfoundland Growlers are set to take on the Reading Royals. I will be doing that series preview soon. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.